using a digital scale, connect the hose to a tank of R134A and the charging scale. Connect the hose from your gauge manifold set to the outlet of the charging scale. Open and invert a tank of R134A. Inverting the tank will ensure that the refrigerant admitted to the system is liquid. Place the cylinder on a charging scale. Purge liquid refrigerant up to the manifold gauge set. Open the high side valve on your manifold gauge to break the vacuum using 134A. Bring the pressure to 1 or 2 PSI. Disconnect the micron gauge and install the protective cap. Set the charging scale and charge the system with liquid refrigerant. Connect the condensing unit to power and allow the system to run for approximately 10 minutes. Check the sight glass for bubbles and top off using vapor through the suction line service valve. Once the sight glass is full, this is a good time to check superheat at the outlet of the evaporator. Optimal superheat is between 8 and 12 degrees. This will ensure the compressor only has vapor entering the suction port. If the superheat level is not within the designed range of 8 to 12 degrees, the TXV superheat setting needs to be adjusted. Using a pair of open-end box wrenches, remove the cap at the base of the TXV. Using a quarter inch service wrench, make an adjustment to the TXV in quarter turn increments. Allow the system to run for five to 10 minutes before taking data recordings. Repeat this process until the optimal superheat levels are achieved. Backseat the king valve and suction line service valve. Disconnect your manifold gauge set from the condensing unit and reinstall the valve stem caps and access port caps. Complete the assembly of the exterior housing Disconnect the gauge from the access port on the suction line at the evaporator and install the protective cap. Install a piece of Armaflex insulation on the liquid line portion that will be located in the wall. Also make sure that the suction line is completely insulated from the TXV to the condensing unit. Use the provided T-fitting and install the drain line. Route the drain line to an area that drainage is acceptable. Fill the hole in the wall using an expanded type insulation foam. Finalize your evaporator installation based on your specific product tech manual. Place the bottle probe in a bottle of water filled three quarters full. Like many manufacturers, WhisperCore requires you to submit a completed checklist to ensure the system has been installed correctly. This will be necessary for warranty activation. Your split system will now be able to achieve the proper temperature for storing fine wines. In this video series we have covered the tools needed to successfully install and charge the system, guidelines outlined in the split system deck manual, evaporator prep and installation, installation of the condensing unit, refrigerant piping procedures and line set sizing chart, pressure testing procedure, evacuation procedures, charging procedures, and importance of superheat and TXV adjustment. Here at Whisperkle, we are dedicated to customer satisfaction and providing reliable equipment for protecting your investment in fine wines. Thank you for choosing Whisperkle, the coolest thing in wine storage. This concludes the split system installation video. Follow the links for part one or part two.